けさんばをはっ一番やるか Hey everyone, I'm Johnny and I have three Japanese World War II movies to recommend to you. This list is not counting anime. Japan has some excellent World War II animated movies, and for that I'll leave a separate link to a World War II anime video list in the description. This list does also not count the brilliant film Letters from Iwo Jima, which is technically an American produced film, though highly recommended. Number 3 The Eternal Zero from 2013. The film provides excellent battle and flight sequences from the Zero, of course, but also provides a modern perspective following a young Japanese man who discovers his granddad was a kamikaze military aviator. The story progresses from the point of view of the grandson researching his granddad's career, with half the movie taking place in modern Japan, with the other half following his granddad in the past. The movie features many prominent battles of the Pacific Theater, from Pearl Harbor in 1941 to the Battle of Okinawa in 1945. Our main character from World War II, the pilot Miyavi, offers the perspective of a pilot who actually does not want to participate in suicidal kamikaze attacks, and attempts to encourage other pilots to do the same, and is clearly criticized as such. The movie is well acted, emotional, and highlights some of the fanatical indoctrination Japanese pilots would have to go through as part of their training with little or no room for individual convictions. What is most unique about this movie is that it offers us insight into how modern Japanese come to terms with the history of their relatives who fought in World War II for the Axis. I highly recommend this for an alternative perspective of World War II. Number 2 Yamato from 2005. A similar theme to Eternal Zero in that it tells the story of the Yamato from a flashback perspective. This time from a fisherman who, during the war, was part of an air defense crew on the battleship. In our movie, life aboard the Yamato starts at the Battle of Leyte Gulf in October of 1944, and the battle scenes are excellent with a mixture of a mock up battleship and CGI. The director really focused on showing just how massive the ship was, especially from the point of view of a sailor in World War II. Between the well filmed battles, arguably the most enjoyable part of this movie is experiencing and learning about life in the Japanese Navy and on board the Yamato. From the training, eating, discipline, and interpersonal relationships. The director tried to make this experience as immersive as possible, and therefore more impactful when the ship is sent on what is essentially a suicide mission, which is Operation Tengo, also known as the Battle of East China Sea, which would be Japan's last major naval operation of World War II. I'd say this movie is a must watch for anyone interested in battleships or naval history. Number 1, Izuroku from 2011. This movie really stands out for its political, tactical, and historic depth of World War II from a Japanese perspective. The story is told, of course, from Izuroku Yamamoto's perspective, who was the commander in chief during the attack on Pearl Harbor and the Battle of Midway. Telling the story of World War II from Yamamoto's perspective provides for a very objective movie, as Yamamoto was a highly intelligent, objective leader rising above rampant blind nationalism in Imperial Japan at the time. Yamamoto opposed the invasion of China and the attack on the United States, having studied at Harvard University and posted as a naval attache in Washington. Ultimately, Yamamoto was loyal to his nation and did carry out the attacks at Pearl Harbor. The air and naval combat scenes throughout Izuroku are plentiful, and though CGI are well done, and to the point, which is a refreshing break from Hollywood style over the top battle sequences. What makes the majority of all scenes in Izuroku is outstanding acting. Particularly from Koji Yakusho, who plays Izuroku. Having to watch Izuroku forced to orchestrate what he knows will be the ultimate demise of his own country offers one of the most unique World War II historical perspectives on film. That makes Izuroku my number one recommendation out of all the great Japanese World War II cinema. Thanks for watching these war movie recommendations. As always, I'm not a military historian, just a movie fan. So, if you want to add to or criticize anything I've said, feel free to do so in the comment section below or let me know what your favorite Japanese World War II movie might be. Please like and subscribe if you want to support the channel, and we'll see you next time. Yes!